damp and dreary on Christmas Day and of course on this Tuesday as well. The frontal boundary responsible for all the rain has moved out, but we are not done with the showers at least for this evening. There is an upper level low that is going to keep our weather unsettled into the late week. Tomorrow we may catch a bit of a break. Good news, dry and quiet closing out 2023 this weekend, but just like yesterday as we ring in the new year, we could be dealing with some showers this time, a few flakes mixed in as well. Viper radar right now showing some legitimate rain showers along I-75 eastward. These have really picked up the pace over the last couple of hours. Uh, they kind of redeveloped here in the Lexington area running out I-64, heaviest around Mount Sterling, Moorhead, out the Mountain Parkway uh, down toward Campton, also uh, Richmond, and a good chunk of southeastern Kentucky along the Howe Rogers Parkway between Hazard through High over uh, to Manchester, back to Manchester, that is, and into parts of eastern and northeastern Bell County. Uh, you see the loop here, just mainly drizzle and mist, so light not being picked up on the radar earlier. The main front is to our east, and that's where the organized rain is, similar to what we had much of Christmas Day here in central and eastern Kentucky yesterday. In fact, you see the rain on the camera lens uh, with our uh, live camera downtown Somerset there at Public Square. Of course, uh, the holiday tree still lit up. It's 48, so it's beginning to cool off. Wind shifting to the west and northwest 60 in hazard and then on the other side of that you're at 45 at campbellsville we're in the upper 40s to around 50 in the middle and you see the difference in temperature actually a little milder out in hazard than it was this time yesterday but really beginning to cool off and that trend is going to continue so tomorrow morning noticeably cooler in the 30s we've got that colder air back to the northwest Underneath that upper low, which of course caused a lot of problems through the upper Midwest with blizzard conditions, but the low creeping our way. Just think of a top on the table, slowly just moving one direction. That's what we're looking at, which is why we start out cold tomorrow, maybe more so in the 40s with clouds lingering there a bit longer. But then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, looking mainly dry and high still in the low 50s. So we're going to be above the curve, but it will be changing as the low spins our way. The upper level energy hangs back. A few scattered showers into the day on Thursday. And then as the low gets over top of us, that's when we could see some chilly showers, upper 30s, and maybe a snowflake mixed in getting into Friday. The weekend looks good. I think we're in good shape. Uh, we're talking afternoon highs, upper 40s to close out 2023 on Sunday. But look at Monday here. Could be wet again, second holiday in a row, and maybe a snowflake mixed in then as well. None of these look to be big major deals, but nevertheless uh, could be a bit impactful. Speaking of impact, how about tomorrow morning? Some more patchy dense fog and spots in the 30s, and then we recover into the upper 40s and low 50s for our afternoon highs. Taking a look at that seven day forecast here into the next holiday weekend. There are your chances Thursday, Friday. Again, a nice uh, finish to 2023 with dry conditions before we do bring the rain chances with a few flakes mixed in by New Year's Day.